Uh, this video is kind of a continuation of a couple I've done before. Last year I did a video about charging with Electrify America and the cold weather and it was pretty expensive to uh, to charge with them. Uh, also the car charged very slow. Well I did a video on that but then I did another one this winter and it was about 28 degrees outside. I went down to charge at the same station. Charge never rose above 17 kW. Now I ran this thing uh, about 40 minutes, I think, and then for some reason it shut off, so I just gave up. When I started it was 17 kW, and when I finished it was 17 kW. And I was right about 50% somewhere in there. So, uh, it seemed like that was ridiculously slow. It also cost me like 62 cents a kilowatt. Pretty expensive. Well, I got to looking around and Chevrolet has come up with a bulletin. And let me back up a little bit. The 2020 Chevrolet Bolt uh, has changed its charging profiles. They're not the same as they were before. They say it charges faster at cold weather. Well, there's a bulletin came out from Chevrolet and said if you have customers that come in and say they're having troubles uh, with the charging so slow or that it kicks off now and then, then there's an upgrade you can put on. So I went to the dealer and I'll I did a video on the dealer too, and uh, that was like pulling teeth. But anyway, I finally did get them to do the upgrade. Okay, did it make a difference? That was the issue. So I went out and I charged again, same station, more or less the same miles on the car. I run the car, I think, last time down to about uh, 35 or 40 miles. Of range left and this time I think it had 20 so plenty of room for faster charging there so I hooked it up and uh, you can see I, I did a chart there and it immediately went to 24 kW which was higher than it ever went before then you can see it's kind of smooth uh, that chart has got amperage on the left and I put the kilowatt uh, usage in a couple of spots in there to kind of illustrate where it went. But it, uh, it charged at 24 for a short, short time, and then it went up, and it just smoothly kind of went up. Anyway, it was a fairly smooth, it went up to 45.6 kW. Well, when it reached about 52 percent which is about where this happens then it started doing the step down so uh, 45.6 and then at about 60 it dropped off or 70 it dropped off and it dropped off again uh, somewhere in the 80s well if you look you can see it went down to 13.2 which is probably about right when you're getting um, charged to 88%. So, uh, did this make a difference? Yeah, it really did make a difference. Wow. This was uh, really big. This charging session cost me, instead of 62 cents a kilowatt, it was, I believe, 32.2 2 or something like that. So, like 32, 33 cents a kilowatt. And I charged it to a higher uh, percentage than I had before. So yeah, it uh, it definitely charges better. One other thing I'll go on to is I've got a chart about the battery heater and the battery temperature. So we started out at 53.6 Fahrenheit when I started the charge. It was almost it wasn't exactly right when I started the charge, but just a couple minutes later, it started heating. Because it's got like a 1600 watt heater on it. 
So it started heating the, the uh, uh, batteries, and it ran for about 10 minutes, 10 or 12 minutes, something like that. And then it shut off. And you can see the rise on that thing. The, the batteries kind of rose up, and they eventually leveled off at about 80.6 which is probably pretty close to optimum for these things. Maybe 70, I, I'm not really sure, they're all different. Now this was done, this whole thing was done at 28 degrees. If I was you, and you want to use fast charge, well, understand, fast charge is something I seldom use. The vast majority of times that I have fast charged was simply because I was doing a video on charging. Uh, I did go to California once and I used them then, and then I've used them, you know, once every couple, three months since then. But this thing, especially with the Met Electrify America, because they are by the minute, most of them seem to be, and charging at 17 kW was just, it just wasn't viable. You, you really don't want to do it. Uh, the new profiles, are they harder on the battery? I really don't think so. Now this is just kind of a halfway educated guess because I really don't know. But most of these lithium batteries, when you're charging them from 15, 20% uh, up to about 50%, they'll pretty much take a big wad of kilowatts. Uh, they don't seem to overheat much uh, when you're in that that time period or that charging area. So yeah, I think it's probably okay, but be prepared, at least I have to be prepared, to kind of fight the dealer because the dealer want to say, well, it was, you know, there's it's not coating anything, so we can't do anything. Well, that, it's an upgrade, not an update. So anyway, uh, I think it's worth it if I was you and had a bolt, I'd do it. That's it on this one.